when I started to research and investigate Turner, the personality, the character, if you like, I was struck by the the tension, the potential of the tension between this eccentric, flawed, complex, you know, conflicted, passionate, dirty guy with this sublime, poetic, spiritual work. And so that really seemed to me to be the, the combustion, the, the chemistry uh, of a potential movie. He was a very famous man in his time, and he is described by people all over the place. You know, I mean, there are lots and lots of descriptions of him. One of the most fascinating... So that's easy in one sense. Uh, on the other hand, he was... He is an enigma. And one of the fascinating things, if you go online and look at Im Turner images of J.M.W. Turner, you will be hard put to find any two images that look like each other, really. I mean, you know, it's... You know, in fact, his own self-portrait that he painted in, in his 20s bears no resemblance to any other image, and I'm sure is an exercise in self-flattery, really. Um, so, uh, uh, it's out there, it's researchable. Some things, as you know as well as I do with research, some things are more accessible than others, you know. Some things, I mean, the women in the film... Um, there's a little a bit known about each of them, but not very much, but enough for us to have something to start with. But it's all, you know, research is a funny old thing, you know, you know it's kind of, you never know what you're going to unearth. We've always thought that until last Friday, we've always taken it as a fact that there are no photographs of Turner. No photographic. And the other day, the film was premiered at the London Film Festival, and a woman was introduced to me who is descended from Turner, and who said, "Oh no, no I have the daguerreotype. I have it. I have it in my house." <laughs> you know, nobody's ever seen a photograph of Turner, and this woman in somewhere in London has got a photograph of Turner. You know, uh, she said, "You can see it if you like." I said, it's a bit late, you know. It, it was de definitely um, complex, conflicted. He was capable of being disingenuous and selfish. I mean, he, uh, it's true that he, at times he, was in, he wasn't in denial, but he denied that he had children. He was capable of warmth and compassion and love. He was both, um, could be uh, selfish but not greedy, but also generous to other artists. He endowed cottages for people for artists who had failed to live in and things. Uh, so it's a complex character, and that's what we tried to put on the screen.